Hey there, welcome back to Online Marketing Foundations. We're still in module one, the badass online marketing approach. And here in lesson seven, we're gonna talk about the, the badass online marketing framework. This is the last lesson here in this module. We're gonna kind of take all of the things we've been talking about so far about what you need to be doing and, and kind of how you need to be doing the idea of a, a holistic marketing approach, the difference between marketing and selling, all of those different ideas and brand building and everything that we've talked about to this point, we're going to put it together. And this is not a lesson, to be clear, where I'm going to teach you everything. I'm going to be giving you an overview of this framework that puts everything together. And the rest of this course, modules two, three, and four, are going through that framework in more depth. But one thing I know is... It helps to understand the framework kind of in a, a broad way before you go through the details. So that's what this lesson's about. It's about helping you to see the framework and understand where we're going with the rest of this course. We're going to start with a, a truth bomb as always, which is that there isn't a secret strategy that will let you build a real business. What you need to do is focus on using the right overall framework. And the difference between a framework and a strategy is that a framework is saying, here are the big things we need to be doing. And then the strategy is kind of the little pieces inside that. It's like, okay, we need to do this. So here are some different strategies we could try to meet this overall goal. And a lot of entrepreneurs get stuck in strategies and tactics. They're looking at th these things and saying, okay, can't you just tell me that all I need to do is X, whatever that is. Maybe it's, you know, that all you need to do is build a following on a certain social media platform, or all you need to do is follow these 10 steps. What I'm going to tell you is there isn't that kind of strategy in the world. I don't have some secret, you know, hey, follow these 12 steps and you're guaranteed success because that's not how business works. The way business works, the way marketing works is that you have to understand kind of a general framework and then go out and do different things and try different strategies, see what works, see what doesn't and build the strategies around your business, around your strengths, around what you kind of are building and what really works for you and your audience. So I'm going to give you that hard truth so that you understand we're talking about a kind of an overall approach to business here not individual strategies. Now, in this lesson seven, here's what you're going to learn. You know, the, the right way to think about building an online business, that one's going to be quick, but I just want to make sure that you have the right kind of perspective. And then we're going to talk about the actual badass online marketing framework and how it is and, and how it works and how it helps you build a thriving business. Again, at a high level to give you context for what's to come. So look, now that you've seen what not to do, Let's focus on how to build an online business the right way. And, and here's kind of that, that uh, perspective I want to give you, which is the hard work idea. That, that building a business is not going to be an overnight journey. You're not going to you know, wake up in, in you know, a week, two weeks, 30 days, and all of a sudden have an overnight success. Building a real business takes time and it takes effort. But if you want your business to last, it really is the only way. There are no shortcuts. There are no instruction manuals. If you're looking that for that, I don't know why you're here, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, you should probably, you know, check out now because I'm not going to give you any of those kind of, you know, promises that I'm going to give you 10,000 followers in 30 days, or I'm going to, you know, help you make, you know, tons of money in 30 days because that's just not how it works. And if you can make that work, it's not the way you're actually going to build a real business. So that's not what we're in store for. And I don't want you to have false expectations. So with that, now kind of let's go through the badass online marketing framework. There are three pieces to it. Commit, connect, convert. Commit, connect, convert. And I want to be clear. You could some in some ways think of these as happening in order, but not really. They're kind of all happening all the time in successful businesses. Now, you start, obviously, with the, kind of the commit, and, and, and you have to do some of those base things before you do anything else, but you're constantly refining things. You're constantly thinking through all of these pieces. It's an ongoing journey. It's an ongoing process. But the concept is that when you do all of these things and do them well, selling things, selling your products, selling your offers really becomes effortless because you've done the work and you've done marketing right and you've taken people on the right journey. So let's kind of talk about it a little bit more. Um, the first phase I, I said was commit and, and that's to commit to lead an audience. You, you can't be a follower. You can't be someone who's just like, you know, 
parroting what someone else said, if you really want to build a successful business, you have to commit to be a leader, to lead an audience on a journey that's somehow different from what they could get somewhere else. Because if you're not going to be a leader, if you're not going to be a different, be different from other people, you're a commodity. And you know, you're always going to be in this race to the bottom of being the cheapest, which is not a place you want to be. The, the second part, uh, the second piece is to connect with your audience. Again, this is the concept that you shouldn't have people come into your audience and immediately say, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Instead, you need to cultivate the know, like, and trust factor over time by connecting with your audience in a real way. And that builds up kind of the goodwill. And then the final piece is convert. And this is to convert your audience to buyers. So obviously, this is where people are going to buy from you, hopefully. So obviously, we want that to succeed. But what I want you to get is that most online marketers and a lot of the stuff you're going to hear in the space are focused on this conversion piece, the convert piece. And when you spend most or all of your time there, it's really freaking hard. But if you'll commit and connect, the convert piece isn't hard it gets easy. So that's the beauty of this framework is kind of having this overall, um, you could think of it as kind of like, you know, uh, <laughs> an overall environment of what you're doing in business. It makes the selling piece, which is what a lot of us struggle with the most, pretty darn easy. What this will do ultimately is it's going to help you build a business that creates more impact and makes you more money and gives you more joy. And does that for a long period of time, for a decade, for, you know, the, the life that you want your business to have. And this is something I want you to get because a lot of people who are um, focusing and teaching you things about how to convert and how to sell, sell, sell and those things, they're talking about success. They're talking about success stories, but in the online space, most of these success stories, I mean, they're measured in a year or a couple of years. They're not measured in decades. And what I'll tell you is, yes, you can make money by being a hard salesman or a hard salesperson, um, you know, over the short term, but it burns people out. That's the reason why the idea of sell, sell, sell kind of was phased out from marketing writ large, you know, in kind of the second half of the 20th century, because marketers recognize that's not the way to build a business that lasts. The bomb framework of doing this overall kind of uh, ecosystem is what will actually allow you to build a business that will be here, you know, and be successful now, but also in the future. So let's talk quickly about each one of the phases, again, to give you a roadmap so you know what's to come. Uh, the first kind of phase or first part is commit. And this is about showing up, finding the people you serve and committing to lead them well. You, you have to basically say, hey, I'm going to understand my people. I'm going to do this work and I'm going to be a leader, not a follower. That's what the commit phase is about. There's different parts to it. Um, the, the first piece we're going to talk about is defining your niche. This is a hugely important thing. Until you have defined who you serve and the problem you help them solve, you are always going to struggle. So that's the first thing we'll talk about. Then we'll talk about how to find and research your market. Once you said, hey, I want to help these people solve this problem, it's, you know, you got to figure out, okay, well, how do I actually go and find them? Make sure that I'm doing it the right way. That's this find and research your market piece. Then we'll talk about recognizing your core competencies, the things that you and your business are particularly well suited to help people with. That's the next piece. Then we'll define your core values, those kind of central beliefs that you and your business have, and it will be a motivating factor. Then we'll talk about how to identify your core differentiators, the things that set you apart from people. And finally, we'll talk about how to develop your core frameworks. And your core frameworks, just so you know, is because most of us are information businesses or service businesses, we need to be able to explain to people how we do things differently or how we approach things differently. And that's where these frameworks come in. It's kind of a way of, of expressing your core differentiators, if you will. So these are the components we'll talk about in the commit phase. You can kind of see how it's all about setting yourself apart, figuring out what it is that allows you to do things in a different way and to be different and stand out. So what it does ultimately is that committing to lead lets you st stand out from the crowd and that helps you create your very own blue ocean because people will find you people who your approach resonates with will follow you and those people will be committed to buying from you 
That's what committing is really about. It's about making you stand out and creating that blue ocean. So then the next piece is connect. And this is the phase about building deep, lasting relationships with your audience and others in your space. You'll remember from the definition of marketing from the, the American Marketing Association, but also kind of when we were talking about the holistic marketing approach, it's not just about like connecting with your audience. Now that's important. Connecting with potential buyers is definitely important because that will make them um, loyal buyers who will come back to you over and over again, but it's also connecting with others in your space. And so you need to be thinking about this from a broader perspective. So here's what we're going to kind of talk about in, in broad strokes in the connect phase. First is a concept that I call add more cowbell to your brand, which I'll give you a little hint. It has to do with adding yourself and your personality to your brand. Then we're going to talk about how you create your core stories. There are stories that everyone needs to be able to connect with their audience. Then how do you create your core content? You've got to be creating content. Then we're going to talk about creating your core social media because social media is an important piece today in connecting with your audience. And finally, we're going to talk about emailing your list because that's something that if you're building an online business, you need to be doing that because it is a great way to connect with your audience. So those are kind of in broad strokes, the concepts we'll be talking about, and that's going to come at you in module three. What this does, the connection kind of is, look, when your audience feels deeply connected with you, they won't even think of buying from one of your competitors. You just don't have to worry about it. This is kind of solidifies the notion of you having your very own blue ocean where you don't have to worry, oh, I have competitors here. Because if you've committed to lead and then taken the time to connect with people once they get into your world, guess what? They're not buying from someone else. When they need a solution that your product offers, they're going to buy your product, not someone else's. So that's the connect phase. Then the, the final piece is convert. This is about presenting people in your audience with the perfect offer when they're ready to buy from you. Again, this is what most people are talking about, but even the way they're doing it isn't quite right. Because again, most folks are, are really fixated on selling, 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 regardless of whether it's the perfect time for the, the person in their audience. What we want to do is make sure that we have the perfect offer and that we present it to people when they are actually ready to buy from you. And we'll talk about a few different things in the convert phase, including designing kind of your sales plan. Let's, let's walk through and say, what's your plan for actually converting piece of people? Planning here is important, so we need to make sure we do that. Then we're going to talk about how to create your offer, like how to create the offer that actually meets demand rather than creating something that nobody wants. Then we'll, we'll go into how to craft your messaging because that's an important piece of converting people is crafting messaging. And this you could think about as content, but really it's the messages you have to get across to people to, to have them feeling comfortable that they want to purchase your product. And then finally, building your funnel. Now, we're not going to go deep into like individual funnels because there are a ton of them, but th there, there is kind of different categories and types, and we're going to talk about those so you can understand how you should be thinking about getting people uh, and moving them along the cycle to ultimately buy your product. So that's, that's the convert phase, what we'll cover in module four. Now, there is a reason that convert is the last part of the framework. This is very intentional. It's because when you take the time to commit and connect, conversion is easy, almost as if it's magic. Seriously, you don't have to work at it. And I want you to get that. And that's why I want you to say, don't go rushing off to module four and watching module four, because module four, if you just try to focus on commit on conversion, isn't going to work. It's doing all three, commit, connect, and convert in tandem that makes this system work. Now, look, when done right, converting should be the easiest part of your marketing. Yeah, I want you to read that again and hear that again. When you're doing this right, when you're committing, when you're connecting, and when you're converting kind of in one ecosystem, converting is actually the easiest part of what you do. It's why I have people who come to my website, buy $1,000 products from me on a regular basis without me having to even ask them or do anything. That is the power of taking this framework seriously and doing it all the right way. So uh, 
summing up kind of these three pillars uh, are the framework you need to build a thriving business that will last. It is my way of converting the, the traditional sense, the traditional model to the online space. And it will help you build a business that's thriving, that's easy to run, and that'll be here for decades to come if that's what you want. So look, if you want to build a thriving business, commit, connect, and convert. Now, in the next module, we'll cover what it means to commit to lead an audience. We're going to go deep into all of those things. And you'll kind of start to see how it is that you implement this framework that we just talked about. I'll see you there.